Welcome or welcome back to Daily Dose of Medicine. Uh, let's talk about cat scratch disease. Cat scratch fever, also called as cat scratch disease, and it is a bacterial infection. And the disease get its name because people contract it from cats infected with a bacteria called Bartonella hanseliae. And about 40% of cats and kittens carry this bacteria in their mouths or under their clothes. They get this by scratching or biting at infected fleas. Fleas are carrying this bacteria. They can also pick it up by fighting with other cats that have this infection. And most cats that are infected don't show any symptoms. If a cat that has this bacteria and it bites or scratches you hard enough to break your skin, that's the way the bacteria can get into your body. On the right side, you are seeing uh, Bartonella hanselia under the microscope. Not everyone who has been licked or scratched by a cat needs to go to the doctor. If you have been infected, you will have symptoms. Speaking of symptoms, there are, sim- there are some characteristic symptoms of this disease, such as low-grade fever, enlarged tender lymph nodes that develop one to three weeks after exposure. On image, you are seeing some lymph nodes, and they are enlarged. A papule or pustule at the side of scratch also can be seen. And cat scratch fever generally presents with auxiliary or cervical lymphadenitis. On image, you are seeing auxiliary lymphadenitis. And this infection can appear up to 10 days after exposure to the microbe. And symptoms start with a papule. At the site, the micro enters, uh, followed by lymphadenopathy, usually in the axillary node. And this disease is rarely serious because it's affecting immunocompetent peoples. And it usually goes away when it's all two to four months without any treatment. But if it is severe enough to treat months, Uh, we generally use azithromycin. Let's talk a little bit about Bartonella hanselia. It's a gram-negative rod, and it is facultative intracellular microbe, and it is targeting the blood cells. And in order to diagnose this bacteria, uh, in order to visualize it, we are using Vartinsteri stain. And it shows characteristic stellate granulomas on histology at bacillary angiomatosis. And it is benign capillary skin papules. And it is frequently mistaken with Kaposi sarcoma, but has neutrophilic infiltrate. This is uh, carried by bacteria, and bacteria have neutrophilic infiltrate. Uh, but Kaposi sarcoma is generally caused by a virus called HHV8. And because it's virus, it has lymphocytic infiltrate. And it is a complication of Bartonella hanselia. It's a bacteria, as I said, that presents with ways with vascular lesions on the skin. And on the left side, we're seeing Bacillary angiomatosis, which is caused by Bartonella de Hanselia. Uh, on the right side, you are seeing Kaposi sarcoma, which is caused by HHV8, which is a virus. And bacillary angiomatosis is a complication uh, in immunocompromised patients. Uh, immunocompromised patients like uh, those with HIV. Uh, on HIV, if you have less than 500 CD4, you are most likely to get this infection. And what is the treatment for patients 
who have bacillary angiomatosis, we generally use doxycycline in this infection. And there is another complication of this infection, such as bacillary pelosis. And it is cystic blood filled space within hepatic parenchyma. And you are seeing bacillary pelosis on hepatic parenchyma. And that's the end of the video. Thanks for watching. If you found it helpful, please consider liking, commenting, and sharing with your friends.